have. Or if it's a rather long one, then you breathe in and say the second part as you breathe out. And you also see how God's spirit slowly fills us. Upon the breath of God's spirit will also continue to fill us. And many of the times, so that's good when we are praying. But what if you are worried and anxious, you are driving and somebody cuts off and try to repeat this one, Jesus have mercy on me a sinner. <laughs> Jesus let me have my sight. And Jesus have sight. Just, you know, and don't make any effort. And you can take maybe this or something else. And I, I'm this. I mean, this is the experience of everyone who tries it. Slowly a little bit of more calmness and what we would call um, tethering with God, okay? We will find the right range. We are sinking with God because God's Spirit is always there to help us and to guide us. And we don't know uh, that, you know, we can never do everything by ourselves. But if we are guided by this, the range is always there, the communication is always there, and after all, God wants us also to experience that peace. We talked about Jesus, you are the truth. Help me walk in the truth. So this is something. Or you are the way. Let me be in the right way. Or your life. Give me the fullness of life that you promised. So these prayers will always help you. Okay? Just like I know I'm uh, something like the Hail Mary or the Rosary we say, um, it helps us to meditate on that. Um, but these are things that are also simple, very time tested. Many people go to transcendental meditation, Buddhist forms of yoga, yoga breathing. We have it. But the monks practiced and found it to be very useful. And I tell you, this. You don't need to go to the Himalayan mountains to meditate and they teach you breathe and say the name Om. Or now the monks of the desert told us, breathe and say, Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, have mercy on me. You know, these are profound things. But because it is so simple, we feel, no, 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 I have to leave all this and go to the mountains and let those monks teach me. So, this I tell you, my dear friend. Let us uh, uh, let us try to proceed as much as possible. Um, later on, you will find some scripture line. Maybe uh, if you were to start reading that, and maybe you came to know the whole story in your mind, read it aloud in your mind. I mean, sorry, read it in your mind. Some of, some psalms would be very good if you ever get to that stage in which you. Some songs are there, right, that you can sing. The song. Yeah, psalms can be sung all the way. So this would be a really easy way to uh, be centered. These are all forms of what our Christian spirituality calls centering prayer. You may have heard this term, no? And this is the easiest that I've found. I've 